Hi, I'm Margaret. Now let me introduce you to the Sticky Bun. These beautiful little soft, sweet delights were something we had quite a few of when I was growing up. They always came in a white paper bag and as you carefully peeled the bag open, you would keep your fingers crossed that the icing had not stuck to the top of the bag. There's just one thing that makes them even better and that's a thick spread of butter. So let's give them a go. First, pop the milk and butter into the microwave to warm up. Then, pop the dry ingredients into a bowl and give them a good mix. After that's done, we can add the yeast and give that a good stir too. Now we're about ready for the wet ingredients. Now the liquids need to be warm but not hot. The way I gauge it is I put my finger into the liquid and if it feels warm to the touch then that will do nicely. This dough is an enriched dough. That's because we've added things like milk and butter and the egg. Unlike a plain bread dough that doesn't have these things. It's also quite a wet dough, so it's very difficult to knead on a board like a bread is. I'm turning to my mixer again with the bread dough attachments. You can see now just how wet it is compared to the bread dough, and also how smooth it's become in just five minutes. popped a bit of oil onto some cling film and I'm going to pop that on top very loosely so when I pop it somewhere warm to rise for an hour it's got space to expand. While it's doing that I'm going to get the bowl ready. I've got some baking paper here and I'm going to put a very thin coating of butter on top. the baking paper a little bit wider than the bowl. This will help me to lift them out when they're baked. Now to get that lovely sticky icing made. I've already sieved the icing sugar. This is an important stage because it prevents lumps. It's best to add the lemon juice just a little at a time. You can always add more but as my mother used to say you can't take it away again. It needs to be quite a runny consistency because the whole point of these sticky buns is that they are sticky and that lovely icing drips everywhere. There, that should do. Well, when I said this was going to expand, I wasn't lying. Just look how much it's risen. It's even stuck to that cling film after all. This is such a wet dough that it will stick to anything. So make sure you do use plenty of flour with this or it will stick to you as well. So we need to knock out all the air. So good floured fingers and just thump it. Make sure you push down and all the air comes out.
it might need a bit of help to come off the board but once you get working with it it'll be fine. I'm going to give it a little bit of a knead and then I'm going to get it into a shape that I can cut it well into 12 different sections. A sausage shape should do the trick. I'm going to try and make them as even as I can, but if they're not perfectly even it doesn't really matter, that rustic look is quite nice. Okay, now to shape them and pop them into the bowl. I'll cover these with cling film again and leave them in that warm place just for about half an hour this time and or until they've doubled in size. You can see how much they've risen and they feel quite soft to the touch. They're about ready to go into the oven now. The foil stops them getting too brown. Then two minutes before the end of cooking, I'll take the foil off and that will give them a lovely golden top. You know they're properly cooked if you can touch them lightly and they stay firm. Leave them for a couple of minutes and then take them right out of the bowl and let them cool completely on a rack. Pour the icing over and smooth it with a spoon then leave them in the fridge so the icing can set. And there you are. Just need to cut them up now and then you can enjoy these delightfully sticky buns. I hope you've enjoyed making sticky buns with me today and I hope it's brought back some happy memories for you. And if you do make them at home, remember to add that butter. I promise you, it'll take it to another dimension. Have a great week. Catch you again soon.